Hello and welcome to Blytheway Business News. Today I'm joined by Andy Warren, Managing Director of National Milk Records. National Milk Records is listed on the IQIS market, a market capitalization of around £21.5 million and a ticker of NMRP. Andy, welcome back to the show. First of all, let me start by asking you, you've just done a robust set of interim results. Um, can you please run us through the highlights? Yes, yeah, it's, it's been really good. I think the word robust is is uh, is a good one, but uh, you know that dependable resilience um, in terms of revenue and EBITDA. I wouldn't like to sell you the business that that's all we're we're all that we can do because um, in the financial year prior to this one, prior to our um, ransomware attack and COVID nineteen, um, we did we did do two point eight million pounds worth of EBITDA. So. A million pounds in six months of EBITDA is nice, but we've still got some work to do. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a question of, of going back into the strategy plan, um, looking at the, at the core business that, that we're that we um, recovering, and then working on that to drive it forward. I mean, the year-on-year -year comparisons are noisy because, um, because we've got the effect of our ransomware attack in the previous period. And then we've got the, a small effect of COVID-19 in this period. But, um, but yeah, the, the business is, is good and the market's good. That's the most interesting thing. Um, Christmas um, 2020, there was 14% more dairy sold. There were 3,000 tonnes more cheddar sold to the UK shopper. So the dairy sector is in good, is in good um, robust um, health, which is great looking forward into the next couple of years. Um, you know, we've got processors investing in in, um, in capacity. I just noticed just recently that Cadbury's are going to um, uh, start making all of their chocolate back in Bourneville. So, uh, so no, we're looking forward into the next the next period and and uh, in a in a in a good place. I always think that companies uh, investing in their business is a sign of confidence. Now, you've just increased your level invest of investment. Uh, what's the primary focus for the investment? Yeah, it's a word that you'll hear a bit from us in the next in the next um, couple of years, and that's genomics. Um, we have we've been investing in gen genomics equipment, and that's now up and running in the uh, in the laboratory. So, so what's that about? Um, in very simple terms, NMR is a, is a big data company. We have um, very good information on what a good cow looks like. We have very good information about what a bad cow looks like. So you just go out and you collect lots of samples of DNA from a good cow and you collect lots of samples of DNA from a bad cow. And then you can produce what's called a genomic key, which allows you to, if you like, recognize the DNA of a good cow or a bad cow. And that means that uh, when a baby calf is born um, at five days old, um, we can take a DNA sample from that calf. And then we can go back to the farmer and say, well, this is going to be at the very first breeding of that animal to be able to say, well, I, I think this is going to be a good cow because the DNA, the DNA of it suggests that it's got good genomics and that allows the, the farmer to take that um, selection pressure into the first breeding. So, so it's, a, it's, it's a brand new technology. Um, we're introducing it in the UK. I'm very excited by it, but it takes us into new places as well because we can start to look at a new service called Gina Cells, where we're looking at the genomics of somatic cells in, in milk, which is, which is very exciting. So that's the principal investment in terms of innovation, but we're also investing in back office. Um, part of our strategic plan is, is to develop our core business and so one of the KPIs in our business that I'm very focused on is the percentage EBITDA. So we're looking to drive efficiency within, within our core business. And we're investing in back office, particularly the dynamics in terms of a, a new ERP system. So, yeah, lots of investment looking forward into the future. You certainly, in the, in the statement you've put out this morning, are very positive about the future, which is, which is great to see. Uh, and you do talk about the genomics for the benefit of, of viewers and you know, 
shareholders, interested shareholders, potential shareholders. What do things like genomics do for revenue streams and, and profitability? So, so um, if, you, if you look at our strategic plan, one of, one of our um, drivers is this idea that there is still more development in terms of our core business. So our milk recording and our payment testing business, as I say, we're investing in the systems to drive that. And then we have this concept of adjacencies. So, so we have a very high market share in terms of um, the number of dairy farmers that we deal with. We have a very high market share in terms of, in terms of the, milk, the milk processes that we deal with. And so we're layering um, um, new business models in on top of that core business. So we're investing in the core, making that as efficient as, efficient as, as we possibly can. But something like genomics is a whole new, a whole new business stream for us. So, so we have a new technology, but we, but we site the equipment in the, in the same laboratory. Um, we sell to the same customers. Um, and so the, the, the ability to drive additional EBITDA from, um, from these adjacencies is, is, is really quite impressive simply because the core business supports the, the, the infrastructure and then we're building these, um, these new revenue, revenue streams in on top. So yes, yeah, so, 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 so the genomics is a fantastic opportunity, but, but we see that, that there's, there's, well, we see, we don't know what we don't know. Um, because it's new technology, there will be new areas that we're so far unaware of. And we're starting to look, for example, at the, um, at the genomics of soil, which is, which is sort of, um, you know, people will look at me quizzically when I talk about that, but soil health is a big part of sustainability. And so, um, so the, 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 if you like, the biomass that's, that's, that's within the soil is a real good proxy in terms of, in terms of uh, um, measuring soil health. And of course, if you're looking at DNA, um, within within the soil structure, and that's going to tell you the the diversity of bacteria and fungi within the soil as well. So 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 we're very excited by it. Um, but the but the, the the key thing for us is that let's focus on the core business, get that absolutely so that we're developing the the really efficient um, EBITDA growth there, and then these adjacencies sit on top of it. Well, it sounds under like. Um... If you forgive me, the cream is rising to the top <laughs> in national milk records. Thank you for spending the time with us this morning. If there's one thing you would like viewers to take away from this interview, one thing to think about for this year for national milk records, what would you like that one thing to be? So, so I, th I think I think it might might seem, seem a bit strange, but one of the things which has happened um, in 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 this period is that Arla, one of our key customers, has launched their first milk product. Okay, it's in Scandinavia, but I'm sure they're looking to um, bring that through there uh, into, into other countries. Their first milk, milk product, which has the claim on it to be completely carbon neutral. Um, and that, that's quite a big thing. Um, so see, when you see things like that, innovations like that, which are going on in the in the dairy sector, you sort of think, okay, this is this is a this is a sector that's that's got a really good future. Thanks, Andy. That was Andy Warren of National Milk Records. As I said at the start of the show, National Milk Records listed on the IQIS market with a ticker of NMRP. That's it for Blytheway Business News for this edition. Thanks for watching.